So how do you strengthen your core without having to do boring and annoying traditional core exercises like this? which funny enough is not even a core exercise, it's an abs exercise, so you're wasting your time anyway. But what I'm gonna show you in this video is three exercises you can do, which are exercises you probably have seen before, but how you can make them way better by integrating the core so you get more bang for your buck. Exercise one is the bench press, but we're gonna do a one-armed bench press. I'm gonna use my right arm and show you by doing a one-armed bench press how it activates the entire core and even your glute on that same side. So you need a bench, and I'm gonna lie on the bench right in the middle, like a typical bench press, but because I'm using my right arm, I'm gonna shift my body to the right. So my right half of my body is hanging off the bench. From here, I'm gonna drive my heel into the ground and my right glute is gonna support me here. If I hold now the bench press here and I'm not supported in my right leg, I collapse this way. So how does this get your core engaged? Just holding position. Your glute and your core has to support you off the edge of the bench just to hold the weight here. And then next step is that you're simply doing a one-armed bench press. A couple tips here is that instead of being wide or narrow, unless you're doing it for a particular reason, it's best to be at a 45 degree angle. That's most advantageous for your shoulder and uh, for shoulder stability. Good, and if you need a little support, you can bring the right leg out a little bit wider. You bring it more narrow, you'll throw a little bit less support. You can use your opposite arm here for a little bit of balance and support. But ultimately, you're gonna hold this position, flatten your back out here so it's not super arched, and we're gonna slowly press and go for whatever set. Yes, you will feel your pec working, but you'll especially feel the core and the glute on that right side, which I felt big time. Exercise two is a bird dog row, super convenient because we need a bench, so you already had. We did a press exercise, now we're gonna do a pull exercise. So if you're not familiar with a bird dog, a bird dog is basically hands and knees and you reach opposite arm, opposite leg with control. Now what we're gonna do here, we're we'll gonna go right side again, is this kind of mimics a, uh, the, the bent over supported bench press row. <laughs> this row in this position is we're gonna do the bird dog here with a row. So what does that look like? All right, so we're gonna get on the bench here, opposite arm, opposite leg is the bird dog. So I'm gonna kick out my left leg and then I'm gonna take my right hand and drop the weight off the edge here. We first need to be able to hold this position in a good position. So what does that mean? I'm balanced, my back is not hyper arched, it's not rounded. I'm kind of like straight as a plank here from my head all the way down to my toes. And then I'm dropping the weight here. Now that I'm balanced and supported, I'm gonna make sure I breathe through my nose and into my abdomen to activate my core properly. And I'm gonna simply row the weight from here, right? By doing this now, I am challenging my core to keep my body centered and balanced so that now I can use my arm appropriately to row this weight. So yes, I'm getting some pull and rowing muscles going here, but I have to use my core big time to be able to hold and stabilize in this position. Exercise three is the pal off press squat. So we're gonna have a band on one side. This is on my left side. We can do both sides, but for this space and for showing you this, it's on my left. My hands will go in the band and I'm simply gonna bring my hands in front of my chest here. Now a traditional pal off press, which is a phenomenal core exercise, is a heartbeat with some rotation back and forth. It's great for rotational control of your core, especially rotational sports. And our purpose here, what we're gonna do is use this to challenge a squat motion. So what we have to, me just holding this position right now, my core has to be on so I don't fling and rotate this way. So I'm holding this centered position, and now from here I'm simply going to squat. So I'm squatting, which is a very accepted and normal and great functional exercise, but now I have the added resistance of anti-rotation here, try, so I have to really work harder in my core to stay centered. You to perform your sets and reps as you do here, and then you can go ahead, show you my better side, and do the same thing on the other side here. Right, and feel free to get a little bit more fancy with this too. You can do split squat here. You can do a heartbeat pal off press with a split squat. You can reach overhead with it. There's a lot of different variations, but at the very least, you have a band that's pulling you toward that anchor point. You're anti-rotating 
and you're squatting through it, which enhances your core without having to do a core exercise. So there you have it, three simple and easy ways, well, not easy, they're difficult, but you know, simple ways to be able to integrate more core into your traditional strength training exercises so you don't have to do boring core exercises like your planks and crunches and other things, so on and so forth, right? And so the, the one piece with this though, it's super important when you do any of these, is to make sure you are breathing through it, you are breathing through your nose, and you are breathing into your abdomen. Breathing into your abdomen is super important because that's where true core activation comes from. I'll put a little uh, thing up here, or I might have done it before in the video, uh, about our core breathing stuff so you know what that's about. And if you like this core stuff and this concepts that we talk about, the core ABCs and this you know, abdominal breathing and core stability, really how to maximize your core to decrease pain and improve performance, we have a core strength and stability course. I'll link that in the description. It's a phenomenal course. I take you through the whole thing step by step of how to activate your core, how it works, how to load it, how to challenge it, and all the things you need to have a bulletproof core. So that way you can reduce pain and improve performance.